having to look at Elon, man, you can see that we look to recover here. Uh, we did bounce and wick down. And, you know, what's funny is it's looking real, real ugly on the weekly. On the weekly, it looks like we could possibly retest the lows here around 6023 and 6024. I mean, you see these two tops here, extremely bearish. It looks like a double top. I'm not sure the bears have the strength to push this thing all the way down past this neckline here. If I go to a shorter time frame, looking at the uh, daily chart here, you can see that we wicked down to 6027, but then we came straight back up. A lot of buy orders down here, and you can see the support. Look at all this support around 6027 and 6029. Lots of support. Um, so it's going to be pretty tough for the bears to bring this thing down to uh, to test to retest the lows because it, the funny thing about it, family, and I don't know what's really going on in the crypto space, but Ethereum out of all the altcoins seem to be holding up the strongest. We know Ethereum is the king altcoin, but it's just crazy to see Ethereum hold up so strong and see alts literally get demolished and wrecked. Bitcoin looks like it wants to rebound. I believe it went all the way down to twenty eight thousand so we just have to keep an eye on this if we look at the lower time frame um taking a look at the 30 minute chart here you can see um, we didn't break this neckline here which is important which sh pretty much shows that we're going to do this uh pattern here this orange pattern because we didn't get enough buyers to come in and break this neckline here which kind of confirms a lower high and if we get a lower low then the downtrend continues we also didn't get a confirmation or reversal on the macd so even on the lower time frames it looks like we could still go down a little bit lower but yeah this was a crazy wick candle right here man you know a lot of people been wicking, uh, wicking these altcoins down but it's good to see elon rebound even though we didn't get confirmation over this neckline here uh, there has been some updates. I think Methuselah Foundation uh, put out an article of how um, uh, the uh, they partner here with Elvith, uh, Everest Health Partners. We talked about this probably like six months ago, how they were rolling out the Methuselah protocol. And eventually we could see something like Elon being utilized as the uh, currency, the ultimate currency for the Methuselah protocol. So, you know, go check out this article, man, because this is a wonderful article of how the Methuselah protocol and Everest Health is saving lives, man, really helping people understand that you know wealth over health you know you can't enjoy uh, i mean health over wealth you can't enjoy your wealth without the health so you know that should be first and foremost on your list here and then i've been getting this picture a lot dog along clues of a possible bnb listing i would love to see a bnb listing um feel free to go on my twitter i did retweet this and you can check it out for yourself and go over the clues but i do think that we get a listing some listings in the future some people even think cracking down the line robin hood and coinbase i really think it's it's possible but again family you can't be alarmed here down here where you got opportunity to get the best entry points before the listings a lot of people want to kind of clown dog along mars and say oh it's not going back up and then once you you see these meme coins literally run back up then you get caught buying at the tops now you double mad because you didn't take a, a opera you know you didn't take a chance on the accumulation cycle here so you can see here you know look at all this accumulation accumulation here accumulation here accumulation here i mean historically historically it's always been good to buy elon um, Dagalan Mars here below the 50 day and the 200 day moving average. So even though it's looking, it's looking a little bearish. I'm not even going to cap with y'all. It's looking bearish. I mean, we just broke another uh, neckline right there. If we go to the three day, uh, still getting, still bearish, man, still bearish. And again, I mean, if we, if we break, what's this? 6026, we're going to retest the lows of the year. And it looks like it wants to because out of all the meme coins and a lot of altcoins that I've seen, Elon was one of the few that did not retest the lows. So maybe this time will be different. It, it, it'll be hard to say because we're not even seeing a big move from the DXY to the upside. The DXY still seems like it's in a downtrend and actually wants to go lower. So, you know, we'll just have to see how this works out. Maybe it, maybe Elon is dumping because of the, the what happened with the rocket ship earlier. You know, Elon's still trying to get this rocket shit up. What y'all think? What y'all think, man? Did we did, did we go to the moon? Is Elon exposing the elites, man? You know what I'm saying? Because why is it so hard for these rockets?
to work now. But in the 1960s, I mean, it was working just fine. We was going to the moon. We was going to ast asteroids. We was breaking through the, the firmament and all this. But now it seems like it's just entirely impossible to keep a rocket in the sky. So I had to do something about the, the conspiracy about it. Are you a flat earther? Are you a... a, a um? Uh, what's that? Uh, a circle, circle earther. I don't know what you call those guys. A regular earther, but yeah, you you think the earth is flat or you think the earth is round? Let me know inside the comments. That's my um, that's my homework to you guys, man. But we'll just have to keep a, <laughs> uh, not to get off point, but we'll just have to keep an eye on Elon. Elon, we did rebound. Buy, buyers came in, buyers came in at six zero two seven, and we did rebound. But yeah. It's one of those days, man, but these are the days where opportunities are born. It's your boy Crypto, Millie. I'll see you in the next one.